Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to use XSLT function. XSLT also provides various types of function which we can use in our XSLT document. So, let's see how to use one function which is the current function. So, let's first write XSL for each for retrieving all the data from the XML file. So, I am writing XSL for each select specify element hierarchy here is catalog CD and I want to display title. So, I am writing just title and complete XSL for each. Now, I want to retrieve each node and when for each loop iterate, I want to display at which node currently for each pointer is. So, I want to just display. I want to retrieve current node not using the select is equal to title but select using the function current. So, current function will retrieve current node which is pointed by for each loop. So, I am retrieving current node XSL value of select is equal to to call the function write current and opening and closing brass in the select. So, it will retrieve current node which is pointed by the for each loop. Complete the XSL value. Save this document. So, what will happen when the for each loop is at first record, it will retrieve current record which is first. After each iteration, current function will point current node and it will retrieve all the element of the XML document. Now, save this document and let's open and see output. You can see current node is equal to Danny Boyle, current node is equal to Bob Dylan, current node is equal to Benny Taylor. All the nodes are displayed and author of this all the node or all element are displayed one by one. And for loop was at first record it displayed current node is equal to Benny Boyle and after when it was at second record it displayed Bob Dylan. So, this is the use of current function in the XSLT. There are also another function which we can use in XSLT. So, this is about function in XSLT. Thank you.